while well, a temporary traffic calming measure in Whitefish Bay gets the green light to become permanent. The village board voted to install permanent concrete medians and signage along Lakeview Avenue right near Bayshore Mall. Yes, Ryan Jenkins went back to the neighborhood today to speak with neighbors who have been pushing for these changes for quite some time. I first told you about these temporary traffic calming measures in this Whitefish Bay neighborhood back in mid-May. Now I'm told that the temporary installations could become permanent by the end of this week. Did you expect it to happen this quickly? No, I, the original conversations were for fall, but I think that speaks to the effectiveness of these installations and the response that the community has had around them. Matt Devark and his neighbors have been pushing for traffic calming measures in their neighborhood for months. It was a racetrack through here. Earlier this month, the Whitefish Bay Village Board approved a nine point plan to slow traffic down and create a more pedestrian and bicyclist friendly street. The speed of traffic has come down commensurately. After months of overwhelmingly positive feedback, the village trustees voted to begin construction and turn these temporary islands, which are currently made up of these orange traffic cones and some pieces of wood, into permanent concrete center medians. How soon could we see work starting? Um, this week or next week, we're hoping. John Edelbeck is the public works director in Whitefish Bay. He says the project will cost between twenty and $30,000. It, it's not inexpensive, but I think it's appropriate for this location. Do you think that this could be something that would work maybe in other neighborhoods as well? I think we have to look carefully at each location. Uh, what's unique about this uh, location, there's 6,000 vehicles per day on this short uh, half block. He points out that other traffic calming measures like speed humps or bump outs could be more effective in different areas with unique situations and says what's impressive is the initiative neighbors here took in bringing concerns to village leaders in search of solutions. Well, I think it's critical. They live here. They see the traffic every day, every, you know, every hour they're here. They see that and, and we don't. So we want to take cues uh, from them and we want to be responsive to them. Matt agreed. You have to be an advocate in your community for what you see. A problem met with a solution, creating what neighbors tell me are noticeably safer roads. For Project Drive Safer, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.